uh, hello uh, in the last lecture uh, we talked about the basics uh, and we introduced some terminology of pages uh, uh, or virtual memory let's say so now let's move on and see how this paging uh, or this translation of address is actually done so when we are considering the uh, virtual or physical memory we have to consider two terms that is the page number and page offset so uh, first of all uh, the total memory whether it's a physical memory or whether it's a virtual memory the whole thing is divided into uh, pages right uh, that is uh, like in caches the memory was uh, div divided into uh, blocks here we take certain b number of bytes suppose maybe four kilobytes or two kilobytes or something we take them as a group and we call it a page so um, assuming that these pages are occupying continuous uh, locations in the memory so we give them give give each page a page number whether it is in the physical memory or virtual memory and remember one thing uh, the size of the page should be same in the virtual memory and the physical memory so we give page number and uh, the thing is that this page is a block uh, group of uh, locations right it may contain certain number of bytes uh, so, and uh, when regarding the processor or uh, the processor actually wants to access specific memory locations processor doesn't want blocks or pages of memory it wants specific memory locations so uh, so to find a specific memory location within a page we use page offset right so uh, this is analogous to what we used in cache in cache uh, to find a specific uh, block we used what, what did we use uh, we used this uh, something called as a um, tag right that was the higher uh, bits of the physical address and to find the, um, um, the specific address location we used the offset like that uh, we use the word offset S sim similarly here to find the page that uh, big chunk of data we are using the page number and to find the specific memory location uh, within that uh, um, chunk of data called the page we are using the page offset okay now with that in mind let's consider a case uh, of physical memory and virtual memory so, so first of all uh, the assumption is that here the uh, virtual memory is 2 GB so this is a 2 GB virtual memory that is the process or program assumes that it has 2 GB of memory in hand and the physical actual physical memory is only what 128 megabytes MB and the size of the page is 4 KB so this is the division we have a 2 GB uh, virtual memory which is mapped into a 128 MB physical memory and a 4 KB page so uh, we need uh, what 2 GB memory it means uh, the virtual address will be 31 bits okay it will be a 31 bit virtual address uh, and this 120 MB uh, physical address means it will be a uh, 27 byte right it is a 27 byte uh, physical address right so uh, 31 bit virtual address and 27 byte uh, sorry 27 bit uh, physical address so it is a 27 physical address bits and uh, there are uh, the pages are 4 KBs right that means uh, 2 to the power of 12 bytes and uh, in the virtual memory what is the total size of the virtual memory 2 to the power 31 that is divided into uh, what b blocks of uh, 2 to the power of 12 right so there is a total of 2 to the power of 31 by 2 to the power of 12 which is 2 to the power of 19 virtual pages right so 
understand there is in the virtual memory because we are dividing the whole 2 to the power of uh, 31 locations into 2 to the power of 12 that is 4 kb chunks called pages uh, we can we have uh, 2 to the power of 19 virtual pages and the physical memory is only 2 to the power of 27 locations and again we are dividing it into uh, chunks of 2 to the power of 12 locations that is 4 kb pages therefore there is 2 to the power of 15 physical pages so here there are 2 to the power of 15 physical pages and here there are 2 to the power of 19 virtual pages right so uh, if we have 2 to the power of 15 physical pages to address this 2 to the uh, or to number let's say to number this 2 to the power of 15 physical pages we need 15 bits right we need 15 bits to number or address these uh, physical pages and because there are 2 to the power of 19 virtual pages we need 19 bits to number or address the uh, virtual uh, pages so um, the page number the uh, physical page number will be um, 15 will be having 15 bits and the virtual page number will be having 19 bits so now let's move on to the image and uh, let's uh, explore this little bit further so uh, here inside uh, we are uh, for each uh, page each line is a page right each line is a single page and here we have written the address the from and to address that is this particular page it, it starts from the location 0x7 ff F F zero 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 two zero X seven F F F F right. So uh, this is the this is one page. This is another page. So it starts from uh, this particular memory location to this particular memory location. And if you look at it, uh, this will be four KB only. Uh, so uh, we said uh, how many. Uh, uh, bits we required for the um, addressing uh, this uh, what do you say uh, the pages they were uh, in the virtual memory 19 bits were used for what 19 bits were used for uh, addressing uh, the page number right or page numbering so what we do is we take the higher 19 bits we take the higher 19 bits that is uh, here 7 fff this is the page number for this page right this is the page number for this page here the higher 19 bits is 7 fffe that is the same here also it cannot change it won't change so the page number for this page is 7FFFE. Similarly, whichever page number you say take, page you take, the higher uh, 19 bits will be showing the page number. So that is how the, this page number, virtual page number is obtained. And uh, out of 31, uh, we have lost 19. So how many is remaining? 12 is remaining. So this. 12 bits right this 12 bits that is 0002 0, 0, 0, fff this is the sorry this is the page offset right this denotes the page offset and uh, we are having 4 kb uh, pages right that means uh, 2 to the power of 12 bytes are there in the there in each page and to uh, uh, number or address these uh, 2 to the power of 12 locations we need 12 bytes so that is coming here uh, sorry 12 bits that is coming here using the last uh, 12 bytes so that is how we are uh, dividing sort of dividing the address the first uh, some by bits we will take for numbering the pages and the last certain bits we will take as the uh, page offset the same thing is happening in the virtual uh, address also this space also 
here if you see uh, we are taking the first how many this is uh, 12 plus 3 uh, 15 right the first 15 uh, locations or 15 bits we are taking as the uh, physical uh, page number again here right the first 15 uh, bits we are taking as the physical page number and the last three bits we are taking as the page offset the number of page offset uh, it uh, page offset bits cannot change because the size of each page is fixed whether it is a virtual memory and physical memory the page size of the page should be same therefore the size of a uh, number of bits required for page offset cannot change between virtual memory and physical memory but what changes is the page number number of bits representing the page number will change because of the difference in the size uh, i hope you understood now moving forward right. now uh, let's see uh, how this actually happens now uh, here what we are seeing is this virtual address some of these virtual addresses are mapped into physical addresses right so if you take here this uh, 7 the pa virtual page number 7 f f f d is mapped into the physical page number 0 0 0 0 right similarly the virtual page number 0 0 0 2 is mapped into the physical page number 7 f f f like that this one which is this one uh, the virtual page number 7 uh, f f f c is mapped into uh, the physical page number 7 f f f e so uh, how does this work uh, so when the uh, processor requests for any specific memory location within suppose this range or let's say within this range when the processor asks for any memory location within this range what happens is that uh, the processor is asking for the virtual address or process using the virtual address right and then this virtual address is translated into the physical address uh, and from there the data is taken if it is not there in the physical memory where will it be it will be in the disk then a page fault occurs and we'll have to deal with it somehow right so for example uh, suppose um, the figure 821 that we just saw uh, mapping uh, page 5 right uh, shows virtual page 5 mapping to physical page 1 so the virtual page 5 this is the virtual page 5 so this is mapped into the physical page 1 right so if we have if we want a virtual address of uh, 0x5353f8 3, 3 then out of that the last three this uh, when you are writing 0x53f8 this means 00005 3 f8 right that is a full address so it means out of this 0000 f will uh, sorry 0, 0, 0, 0, 0005 will be the that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0005 will be the page number virtual page number and 3 f8 that is the last 12 bits 3 f8 will be the uh, page offset of the virtual uh, of the page uh, whether it's the virtual address or uh, physical address these last 12 bits will be the page offset and this is translated to what 0 x 1 3 f8 the last 12 bits won't change mind you it, it won't change because the page offset is same only the first uh, certain number of bits are translated here this 0 0 0 0 5 is translated to 0 0 0 1 that uh, last 12 bits remains the same right so uh, this is how this translation happens 
uh, here VPN is virtual page number and PPN is physical page number. This uh, bits 0 to 11 that is the last or smallest uh, least significant 12 bits it will be translated directly to the page offset. Pa page offsets are the same it won't change. But this uh, bits 12 to 30 right that is the 19 bits of the virtual address is translated to uh, pay, uh, bits 12 to 26 that is the 15 bits of the physical uh, address. So this is the whole virtual address this is the whole physical address and the one part of the virtual address is directly taken to the physical address which is the page offset part and the other part is somehow translated uh, and converted to the physical address this translation we have to check how it is done uh, right this uh, question is very similar to that example we saw there is nothing much to which now me now we move into the concept of page table uh, so what what is what is page table this is the page table for the uh, memory image that we saw that that uh, is the page table for this mapping this uh, combination of virtual memory and physical memory uh, this is the page table that we use so uh, page table means uh, this these details right these details whatever is shown in this box boxes it will be stored in the memory right this virtual page number won't be stored anywhere so what we do is when we want to look up something suppose we want to see where what is the physical page number corresponding to uh, virtual page number 005 what we do what the processor does it it starts from the base that is 000 and go goes to the fifth position or if we want if we want if it wants to find the physical page number of the corresponding to the virtual page number 7 fffa then it starts from here and goes to this particular location and there it will know uh, if there is some value okay fine right here also we are using this uh, valid bit right uh, to signify okay whether there is a valid entry there valid value there if it is the, if there is nothing there if there is no valid value there it is understood that okay fine uh, it is not mapped into the physical memory it is mapped into the uh, hard disk right so this is how uh, a page table is implemented and depending on this page table only there will be some um, address translation happening and this is stored in the main memory and this is stored in the uh, main memory and to uh, identify access the location or find the SQL page number of a certain corresponding to a person um, specific virtual page number we'll just start from the beginning and count go to that particular location and uh, find that value right okay now let's see this example using the page table to perform address translation earlier we just we use that image right of the uh, physical address uh, memory and virtual memory uh, now let's see how it is actually done find the physical address of virtual address uh, 0x2473 using the page table shown in figure 823 this one so here when you say 0x2473 it is actually 0000247c uh, right so uh, how do we do what do we do the last uh, 12 bits we don't take uh, that is the offset so first we go to the page which is uh, page location 0 2 so 0 1 2 right and corresponding there is some value that is 0 x 7 f f f that is the physical page number so uh, once we have the physical page number then how do we find the uh, complete address physical address we append the last three bits to the physical address right so it will be uh, 0x 7 f f f 4 7 c so let's see how it is done right here uh, what do we do here we have the virtual address 
right from the the virtual address will be divided into page offset and virtual page number so using the virtual page number we go and you find the lo corresponding location and we take the value corresponding physical uh, page number value and you take it along with that you take the page offset and you concatenate it and you get the final physical address this is how an actual uh, address translation using page table uh, takes place so this page table uh, can be stored anywhere in the memory right it depends on the type of os uh, where it is being stored so what uh, some oss or some physical implementation do it, it maintains a register called as page table register which uh, which is loaded with the base address of the uh, page table that is the page table is starting from this location and going on to up to these right so many is what in this condition uh, case what 2 to the power of 19 uh, pages are uh, locations are required for just for maintaining the page table and uh, it is assumed to be in continuous locations so what we do is we don't know from where this uh, locations are starting so that uh, this zero point it is that address specific uh, physical address is stored in something called as a page table register and once uh, you have the virtual uh, page number what do you do you just add that to the uh, base uh, page table base address given in the page table register and you can go to the um, required location right so uh, the problem with not the problem uh, the thing with this implementation of a page table is that for every uh, um, memory read or memory write or uh, that is uh, for every memory access you need to perform an extra uh, main memory read right because you need to refer to the page table you need to find the page table uh, find the location of the physical page number from the page table that is an extra uh, memory read is required for each memory access that the processor wants to be done that takes time for that we implement uh, something similar to a cache memory known as the translation lookaside buffer so that we will cover in the next lecture thank you